Hi guys! Hopefully everybody's having a really good day so far. Good week, etc. Happy Sunday everyone! Um, it's been a little bit of a busy-ish week for me. Hopefully everyone else had a much calmer one. Um, today we're going to be drawing trains. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just get through some of the intro stuff. Uh, welcome to the stream. If you didn't know, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds and we art nerds have to stick together. If you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links to our social media in the description below and check out our website for our class offerings. Um, where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors. Because we're not just a YouTube channel, we're an art school too. If you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, consider supporting us by becoming a YouTube member for exclusive channel perks like emotes and sub badges, or supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 a month, where you can get access to tons of perks like our working files, critique sessions, class recordings, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots. So be sure to check those out before they're gone. Oof. I really need to increase my lung capacity somehow. Uh -huh. So, okay, I guess we will we'll just get into it pretty quickly because I feel like today's topic is quite tough. Well, I say that, but I think it's mostly like detail, the details are pretty tough and, but like the general shape is pretty, eh, it's okay, I guess. We're going to be drawing trains today. There are a lot of different kinds. Um, I think I'll probably just stick to like maybe the steam train, which is probably the very like the older ones that you guys are kind of thinking of. And then maybe at the end we'll do like some modern trains. I think the modern ones will be a little easier since they're a lot sleeker. <laughs> Whoops. Um, Has anyone been on a train? I've been on like maybe two. That's not true. I've been on like five. But like, I don't really partake <laughs> as much. Unless like, I guess we count the subway. Which I guess is a train. Wind instruments. Yeah! Swimming, diving. I used to be quite the swimmer. So funny, I was not allowed to, as a child, I was not allowed to do any like wind instruments because my parents were afraid it would like make my teeth ugly or something. Very weird. Uh, were you here at the stream on Friday, Mighty Mina? If so, it's nice to see you. If not, sorry for hallucinating. <laughs> um. Nicholas, have I seen the demon train from the Zelda franchise? I have not. Is it cool? I've seen the demon moon. I'm not sure if it's a demon. Zelda train. It would be very excellent if there were like train trains people wanted to see. Zelda train. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> okay, so actually the Zelda train is so like cute and simplified, I think I will start with that. I don't know if this is the demon train that you are thinking of, but it seems like a pretty good like you know approximation of what a train looks like. So I'll just like you know steam. Zelda version. Hope everyone's having a really nice Sunday. Alright, so first off from the side view, I think it's probably the easiest to start with the side view. Break it down, you know. The demon train, the spirit train, seems really like I think it has a really cute design because like it's actually very like 
I, to me, it has very satisfying proportions. So I'm like, heck yeah. And trains are like, you know, they're cargo, I think, so... Or passengers, I guess, but like, they tend to be, like, linked together, so they won't be, like, completely uh, close. There'll be, like, a little gap for, like, the link. Haha, <laughs> link. Um, but yeah. And then this has, like, a huge circular front part. I'm basically just kind of breaking the all the shapes into really simple, simplified ones. Breaking into simplified shapes. And then after that, just add like details if we want because I think that's probably like where the most of the um... oh am I looking at the wrong train this is like the smash train <laughs> fine I guess it's the smash train And then we can just slowly add in like some other cute details. The wheels are part of this like kind of trapezoid shape. I feel like it is a really really cute design. Even like the things like the roofs of the train are like so chunky that they kind of like stick out a little bit like these little edges here and I feel like that adds like such a cute like aspect a good chunkiness to the design in any case I think it's probably it's definitely a little easier to draw the trains after like you kind of have done like a sketch like this before um, just so you kind of know like what the parts are the wheels are a lot cuter <laughs> yeah they're really scared of my teeth being crooked, although it became really crooked anyways. <laughs> so I had to get braces and stuff, and that whole debacle. I have no clue what like little me was doing to make my teeth so like crooked at the time since like None of my family members really had bad teeth or anything. As usual for um, drawing these sorts of complicated things, it's always good to have reference, even if this is like a relatively simple um, train design because of like uh, the video game but I think it's still good like training wheels to like figure it out and then we'll start with like a more realistic one after where did you get the idea to do a video on trains uh, good question <laughs> I think it was decided by um, like part of our brainstorm session if I'm correct.
And then I think I will probably make this one a different layer so I can start outlining something on top. I see it also has like this little light or something in the front. Because I'm guessing like, you know, everything is so like um, important, like all the parts and pieces and these things do have to be like built. So there's just a lot of busy sort of um, construction, like I guess kind of like how model trains you got to put together so it's similar when in real life these things have to be built so they have a lot of little details that might be really difficult to like kind of translate in a way that isn't like just really overwhelming. But that's like kind of actually where the artist like skill comes in where it's kind of your um, your choice and your own sens sensibility to figure out like what to include, what to leave out, like what's important for this to read as a train. And this is for like all sorts of things that you're going to draw, but like not just objects or characters. I think that's kind of cool. Although I think my wheels are a little disproportionate. I think this is fine for now. For example, like here they have like a lot of like little seams like so. Um, I don't think it. I think it might look cool, but I don't think it's necessary for, for us to understand like what shape this part of the front is. Personal preference, of course. Maybe you might feel it is really important, but. steering area is quite thin. like connective sort of structure. In a way, I feel like drawing like liner and stuff is also a lot of like editing sort of going over your sketch and being like, what did I mess up? What did I leave out? What am I going to add? And then sometimes I like to use the eraser to like carve out certain areas in shadow for myself. Very fun. What kind of program are you using right now? I'm using Clip Studio Paint, I believe version 1. Um, yeah, version 1.13, which is I think the last update it had before it switched to subscription and subscription is version 2 <laughs> so yeah 
I want to start drawing digital. What program is the best to use? Uh, whatever you can get your hands on. I think Clip is pretty excellent. If you work on a, if you have an iPad, use Procreate, and then because I feel like most people I know who do use Procreate want for nothing usually, so uh, that would be very good for you. It's also portable, so you can like practice a lot easier, like when you're life drawing and stuff. Um, what else? Although I will say Procreate's like brush sensitivity feels a lot different to me than like a tablet. Um, but like I don't think it's too big of a deal to like warn people off of it or anything. Clip is pretty good. It is like it is a subscription now, but it is a relatively cheap subscription. Um, so that is something worth looking into. We have Krita, which is free, which is almost as good as Clip, I would say. It has a lot of really, really cool functions. But I think the UI might be a little bit... Um, just a little bit awkward sometimes, but not too big of a deal. I can like write that down, actually. So like... Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Krita, Clip... Studio, Procreate. Uh, what about Photoshop? If you can get your hands on it, for sure. But if like the only way you can get it is to pay for it, I would not really recommend it because there are a lot better softwares out there, or a lot cheaper. But if you can somehow, you know, get another way then it's totally useless like you can totally use it yeah lots of people use procreate i do think procreate is a lot eased um the interface is a lot easier there's like not a, like a million of these tools like on clip so procreate is probably the best way to go it's about when i bought it it was about like 13 bucks um, but, you know, it it might be cheaper now. <laughs> or not, or more expensive. I am not sure. Um, uh, so yeah. I think it is, like, kind of more and more powerful, like, getting more powerful, and, like, more and more people are using it, and if you are young and have, like, the means to, like, go out and have fun and stuff, I do think investing in like an iPad and Procreate is probably a little might be a little better than like just a desk tablet since you can go out and like take your tablet with you and study that way which I think is a lot more fun and useful and then like you know once you like save up or something then you can get a desk tablet but I wouldn't, um, but you can also get like tablets that are just like not, um, too expensive. So to each of their own. Do we have a video on tablets? I feel like we do, or are we still working on it? Tablet reviews? Here, just adding some details. Oh, is is Clip version one still available? I don't think so. They were very like you know, despite the very strong criticism and like pushback, they were like, nope, we are charging a subscription. Goodbye. So, I think it's just version two nowadays. Uh, tablet giveaway coming soon. Yeah! I have the XB Pen tablet. Yeah! It is really good. XB Pen, Huon. Um, I really like those um, 
as alternatives to Wacom because Wacom is just so gosh darned expensive. So definitely, like, you know, those are definitely, definitely, definitely very useful. You should learn to draw electronics. <laughs> I'll add, we'll add it to the idea pile. I feel like mechas are definitely something like... I think we've done it before, but could be redone since they are very complicated. I've been watching Gundam recently, so it's like on the mind. And then like, you know, like all like the Gundam fights, they're so like, they're animated really well. So I'm like, man, drawing them is already hard enough, but like animating them, yeesh. And then there's the bolt. Here's our inside of the cart thing. Trains are pretty cool. Kinda wish there was more like aesthetic, like haunted, like cart sort of aesthetic. I think it's very cool. This is the smash train, so I think it is uh, en specifically engineered to be like as adorable as possible. It'll be interesting to see what this looks like next to like a very like a realistic steam train. Flesh out the detail. As always, using a reference. What about those trains that look like buildings sleeping? I'm not sure. I've never heard of those. What's the difference between a train and those fast subs? 
I think it's called the skinny ones. I also am not sure. Maybe like a train, I'm guessing, is like carries uh like you know, like a lot of different things are trains, but not like every uh like not everyone ev not every train like has like a specific what am I saying? Basically, like, I think trains are just, like, the word for those vehicles, but, like, they are each used for different things sometimes. Like, the subway trains. Something like that. Okay, steam trains. Let's try and give it a try. They do look kind of interesting. Very, very detailed for sure. Let's see. Have like so from what I'm seeing they definitely have a lot of different like designs so it can be quite tough to sort of nail one down but it also seems like it they'd be actually really useful for practicing like how to draw like um steampunky things or like you know steam based machinery since they do have quite a few like Nixon bobbles to like keep, you have to keep in mind of I'm doing like side views because let's be real they're so like weird and hard to draw that we're just gonna start with like familiarizing ourselves with what we got and then after that like we kind of get a sense of how all these like parts fit together we can start like turning them around in our heads very interesting shapes. It's like, you know, it's like another thing I probably have to like learn eventually, which is like how do trains actually like function and then it would probably be a lot easier to figure out like what are the commonalities between like different trains. Like what parts stay, what well, parts are like more like design. I think that's why machinery is always like so intimidating since there's so much of so much stuff that goes into it and it is like very mechanical so it's probably best if you do know what like how the machine is gonna work like not everybody wants to know when you're like drawing it you know sometimes you just want to draw a train without being like an engineer <laughs> or like and like likewise with robots I'm guessing guessing we can start with maybe like the front since that's probably the most funky looking one and everything else like passenger cars, cargo boxes just kind of look like boxes. So this is probably not a bad place to like practice.
feel like the round area that's always like on the steam trains is probably the um <coughs> excuse me the engine <laughs> or like whatever power is the like water i guess right steam the hydraulic system I feel like I have to watch like a documentary or something. And pardon me, I'm gonna like change the background to like a gray. It's like the white is kind of sticking in my eyes. curse of like artists there's always like something wrong with like your health ideally that is not what we want to do though so take care of yourselves the locomotive the whole collection of it and the carriages is the train so you search you search locomotive you'll get different results that is good to know. Thank you, Cosmo Kirin. Are you drawing with your mouse? No, I'm drawing with a tablet. Uh, are you going to make more drawings about drawing in Krita, like the mushroom? We can. Do you have any suggestions? Like any part of the software that you might want to learn more about? There's also a lot of like stuff like pipes and things going on in here that is like really difficult to I think discern. But we'll do our best. subjects that I really want to draw like for example I'm like kind of fascinated with like I guess history and like the like Egyptian history and sometimes I really want to like draw like realist like historically accurate like dresses or like tunics or robes and food and stuff from that time period just because like it's like a personal interest but I have like no clue how to like find resources on how to like even figure, find out like what those if we have any information on like those sorts of things like you know the daily life of like um, a pharaoh or something and then I'm always like would it be so weird if I like sought out like an Egyptologist and was like can you can I answer like my questions and so just so I can draw them 
feel like that with a lot of different topics. Like sometimes I'll be like a fish that's really cool or like marine life and I'll be like, hmm, would I be bothering a marine biologist by asking things? My current fixation, I guess, is like Mongolian culture and I'm like, is it like rude or like weird to at like look for some professional in this field, like a professional Mongolian cook or something and be like, can you explain to me how you make your food <laughs> just because of personal interest? I feel like it probably is, so I just like stick to like looking for books or something. And then that means, but then you know, but that means like I actually have to take time to like read like my, the textbooks that I find. And then it's like, well, you're not drawing, or like you know, endless dilemma here. Okay, here's just like my sip, my sketch for now. There's like a lot of details, so I feel like I definitely need to sort of pace myself. But I guess we can kind of start seeing like some sort of slightly similar shapes with like the cartoony version and like the more complex version. Misty Shadows, you were here on Friday, right? I feel like one of someone with an M name was there. <laughs> I want to learn more about drawing stuff like cartoon face. I think we have videos for that, so. Ah yes, Daria linked it already. Thank you, Daria. Sci-fi futuristic sci-fi trains. I feel like sci-fi futuristic trains are really like much much easier than like these ones because they're so sleek. Um, I think I I watched a movie once where it was like the measure of like how high tech something is is how intuitive it is, which I agree because like you know like consider like an iPad and a dial-up phone, like which one's probably easier to figure out how to use. And I think, I imagine it's similar for like all sorts of like technology, so trains included. But yeah, we'll go over that after like this, this one. Yeah! Well, thanks for coming again, Misty. Very happy to see, uh, to see you and repeat people. I like having online resources and books, but sometimes it's just nice to get a simpler, short answer from a real life person. Totally. Like sometimes I want to ask like something like very like specific, like for example, did Mongolians have eggs? Like did they eat boiled eggs? Because they don't have chickens, right? Because I guess chickens are too cold, like they don't do well in like really harsh, cold land. This is complete speculation. I have no clue. Like would they ever tr like trade? like for eggs or something like things like that and then like i think i saw like some sort of like reference of like wolf soup and i was like is that like just like what they call it because like i don't know it's made for like it's eaten by warriors or something or is that like actually like a recipe for wolf meat and, and like soup i have no clue and i can't really find anything about it either so it's like well I'll just use my imagination, I suppose. I'm sure, like, whatever hyperfixation I develop next will receive the same treatment.
She has a lot of stuff. Probably gonna tr I might use the stroke tools trick for some of these. There's like a lot of wires or pipes. So I'm like, hmm. Let's see if I can explain it a little better in a second. To go on a museum tour. That's true! I should look some stuff up. Oh, thanks for coming, Ember. Oh, true. That's also really cool to know, Kevin. Yeah, there's like a lot of things that like I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> what does that mean? In, like you know trains are pretty like the ba their base shapes are pretty simple so I think most people could probably understand like you know how to draw a box how to draw a cylinder just all these gosh darn like little things that is like I can't tell what I'm sure all of it is important so like I'm inclined to try and draw all of it but it really it is tough to like consider what is like just a lot of busy work and what is it? But I think it's, I guess, like, you know, learning a bit of train anatomy would probably help here. cool to cons like to think of trains as a concept though I know people were like oh steal like beasts of iron that like rage across the field or something I still think that's a very like adorable way to consider machines I'm also a fan of a lot of period shows so there's like a lot of like um, things where it's like oh my gosh technology that's so terrifying electricity terrifying cars terrifying death traps <laughs> like those kinds of storylines I'm not like you know I am inclined to somewhat agree. I 
I start analyze, analyzing references to understand what I'm actually looking at because sometimes things aren't as clear as you'd like to be. Exactly, right? A lot of times, like, pictures, like, just don't really help. Um, one thing that I actually found pretty useful was, so my dad really likes model cars, so he'll buy, like, little, like, Hot Wheel size like, cars of, like, but, like, they are pretty, like, accurate, like, they o their doors open and everything, and it's, like, a taxi and, and stuff, um, as well as, like, just, like, a, a motorcycle, things like that, and I feel like those toys are actually really, really helpful, because you can kind of pick them up and look at them in any angle, and sure, they might not have, like, you know, a real engine inside, but, like, the outside stuff mat is all that really matters, because, like, the door can open, and you can see a steering wheel inside, and all that stuff. So then, like, sometimes when I, like, if I have to draw cars, I'll, like, have my dad's model cars in, like, my hand, and I can just kind of, like, even if it's not, like, a 100% perfect, like, what a real taxi would, like, look like right now, it's good enough for me to, like, at least understand the shape of the car and, like, the angle that I want to draw, and then I can just, like, extrapolate from that. So that is pretty, like... That's cool, I think. I know some artists do that with, like, animal models. Like those toys from, like, Mastermind or something. I have a, one for a horse, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> so... I still, like... I'm sure like it just got lost from, like, my family shifting things around the house, but... That might be a sort of thing you guys can consider. The motorcycle thing is really helpful, I think, at least. I guess that having a model train would be really useful to like draw one right now. <laughs> Okay, these wheels are kind of... Yeah, so... Here I go with the wheel. The circle tool. Just duplicating, cutting and copy and pasting to make like a, the inner area. I keep forgetting that like clip has shortcuts for it. Although it can't save me from like my own messy <laughs> art. A lot of manga artists and in interviews by figurines and models. Yeah. It's something I would like to do more of, like once I have maybe like more of a display area. I think actually having like a nice, like, my dream, I guess, is to have like some sort of studio space where I could just like put a bunch of like those like reference books and everything, like, just like you see in like manga <laughs> studios and stuff. And then all like the reference like models. 
it be more than one desk. I think I would really, really like that. Uh, but you know, who knows how long that will take. really been like a travel person but I have been like thinking about it more recently since I want to take more pictures of like places I just don't go to often like castles and temples and the like I feel like that always puts me at odds with like say like my family members because like of course reasonably they're like we want to go to like I don't know we want to go to some place so we can go like skydiving or something. Um, and I'm always like, sure, I guess, but I really would just rather take pictures of buildings. <laughs> mm -hmm. My dad's also really into boats, so I think he'd want to do a lot of like boat riding, things like that. And I'm just like, I guess. But I'd like to go to castle number like 502 yet again. So under the train, there's just a lot of like other stuff. So unfortunately, it's all very like shrouded in darkness. So I'm just going to have to make this part look interesting as well. I think it still adds like some cool looking depth. Love to visit ancient architectural structures. Yeah, man. Still, one day I would really, really, really like to visit the Senate floor where, you know, Caesar's terrible fate took place. Okay, I'm gonna try to do some sort of. Uh, the stroke tool trick because of all the pipes that are going on on this like train. We'll see how it goes. And basically what it means is specifically for clip, um, I think stroke is available in Photoshop as well. Basically I'm just creating like this layer property, turning it on and it gives like your brush an edge. Uh, I'm doing this on a new layer just cause, you know. Oops. Uh, 
and make a new layer. as well. Some of this stuff can get really funky. So definitely have like, you know, I feel like building this stuff or like model train stuff would also be so time consuming. Drawing it, I'm also kind of like, man, who would do this? <laughs> Then if we just set it to multiply, I think also I rasterize it. No, oh, okay. I do think using this trick is probably not ideal though, since it can get pretty messy when you're coloring. Sure, there's got to be a way to like fix that though. Since I know people like paint with it, so I guess I'll have to like take a look before I get back to people on that one. And then I guess we have like some detail stuff, like the seams. But, you know, that's also probably not completely necessary. I think it looks- it's really busy, so maybe I'll just leave it. Then I do want to try to color at least one thing.
It's actually mostly just black with like red accents. So. I'm glad you guys like the music. I wish we had bullet trains in Canada. So true. I wish the subway system wasn't like just awful <laughs> in like Canada and the US. It makes like doing everything so much like harder. And it's dangerous, I feel like. Definitely very inconvenient. I'll just add like a couple of cute accents. Since why not? go and sort of clean up some stuff. A lot of digital art I feel like is like adjusting things. But I guess trains would also be really fun to like paint materials, like material studies with. Since they are made with like a lot of metal, but like not super super shiny metal. And wood, I guess, right? Paint, things like that. like a matte metal, I guess that's what it's called, is very uh, airbrushy sometimes. as well. I feel like I haven't painted in quite some time though. So I'm bound to be a little rusty. It's hard when you're trying to like get a lot of, like when you're trying to learn a lot of stuff. 
because then it's like, well, I want to paint, I want a liner, I want to color this way, I want to paint that way, I want to draw this style. And there's a lot of like decision fatigue that goes into it. And all these shadows. Ugh. I'm always very curious at Pete's like because um, some people I think most of the time people are like oh I want to draw characters and then they draw a lot of characters but there are some people who are wired differently who are like I just really like drawing like vehicles and objects and I'm like so jealous of those people I'm curious like what parts they find like intriguing is it like whether Maybe they like the functionality of things a little better, or like the hard surface aspect. Vampire looking train. Yeah. Thanks. Glad you guys like it. I'm trying to figure out how to do like these highlights. Oh yeah, crime reports? Sure does. <laughs> I was on the subway with my friend recently and she's very sweet. There was like, I guess, a suspicious person who was like, you know, kind of throwing things and um, stuff like that. Swearing and yelling. And then my friend like grabbed my hand and like pulled me away and was like, Are you okay, Vanessa? Are you scared? Don't be scared. I promise. Like, you know, if something happens, we'll just get right off and it'll be totally fine. And I was like, <laughs> Thank you for the concern.
that sounds really cool. An OC with like... I do think conductor uniforms are very, very cool. Very aesthetic. Yeah, uniforms do have a really nice aesthetic to them. I think it's very, very cool indeed. certainly have an interesting texture. And some of the details for the highlights, all the little wires, probably need their own little like, uh, their own little highlights. Wheels as well, of course. Phantom Train. I feel like that sounds familiar. I should remember that. Is that a recurring thing?
Yeah, I think they are like very. They tend to enjoy reusing a lot of things. Has anyone seen anything about the latest one, sixteen? things could I do for this? Adding some hard surface or like hard looking highlights I guess. the layers, hopefully nothing breaks. And if I wanted, I could probably paint over this a bit more. Do I have any, like, I haven't painted in a while, so I'm like, huh, everything is quite like... Do you remember how to do this? Do I remember how to do this? Cleaning things up and everything. things look a little bit neater. I guess it is turning out not too bad. <laughs> I feel like it's just because my line art was so messy in the first place, I have to go back and like kind of make it uh, like just cleaner. <laughs> fixing my old mistakes. So I just went in and changed the direction of the line so that it's not just so thin like every um, every stroke. Probably 
add some more like shadow as well. have to see. Adding some rim light. I feel like there would be more reflective light, but maybe because the metal is so like dull, it doesn't take it as well. Who can say? Well, it's not turning out that bad, so I'm pleased. I don't draw these sorts of like mechanical things as often, so if it looks legible, I'm already like, hey, did something. <laughs> to make it look a little sharper. Just to get rid of all those like stray line art lines that I am so prone to having. is a pretty good contrast with the red. Certainly turning out to be not you know, a lot more rendered than I thought it would be. I feel like I have to go and add in like even more details just so it doesn't look so like unfinished. Thank you. 
It is interesting to like go back and kind of remember like relearn all the things that like you kind of knew but like haven't been practicing. Which I should be, I should be practicing. I guess that should be fine for now. <laughs> Thank you. What else can I add? Is there any... I guess I should add like a little bit... Like the super, super highlights. Actually, quite a few. a little brighter. Maybe with something softer. overwork it either, I guess. I should write a little bit more notes too. <laughs> Same principle. Oh. With that, well, actually, that's pretty on time. With that, I guess that is our all the time we have left. So, thank you for coming, everybody. I'm really glad you stuck around this long. It was certainly a feat, and I hope I see you again soon. Don't forget to check out the classes that we're offering this summer, such as animation or cartooning and anime. Lots of fun stuff that we can do together, and I hope you guys come hang out and join the Discord, offer some, you know, show off your art, offer ideas, and the like. Have a good Sunday, guys! Bye!